Hello students, in this video we'll see an important formula that's used to compute the deltas of call options and put options. We will show that S e to the minus delta t minus t is equal to with a phi of d1 is equal to k e to the minus r t minus t phi of d2 where phi is the PDF of a normal 0, 1 random variable. And D1 and D2 are the Black-Scholes formula, log of S over K plus R minus delta plus sigma squared over 2 T minus T, all divided by sigma, the square root of T minus T. And then D2 is the same exact formula. The only difference is that if I have a D2 over here, then the D2 will correspond to a negative sign right over there. So we see that there's a relationship. If we note that sigma squared over 2 t minus t over sigma square root t minus t is 1 half sigma square root t minus t, and if I put a plus minus here, that'll be plus minus. So we see that the difference, if there was a minus here, I would get a minus over there. So there's a relationship between D1 and D2. Namely, that D2 is related to D1 by, if I add in a little bit more to D2, so if we add in a sigma, if I put this on the other side, a sigma square root t minus t, then that will balance out. So this will be equal to D1. So that's our relationship between D1 and D2. And we can take this relationship over here and square it. So if we square this relationship, we see that D1 squared is equal to D2 squared plus sigma squared T minus T plus 2 D1 sigma square root t minus t. Now at this point we know a formula for d1. Here's our formula for d1 so we can write this as d2 squared plus sigma squared t minus t plus 2 sigma square root t minus t and now we'll fill in our formula. So our formula over here is going to be log of s over k, and then I have a d2 over here, so this is actually going to be a d2 right here. Then I'll have a plus r minus delta minus one half sigma squared t minus t all over sigma square root t minus t. And so we can see that these sigma t minus t's are going to cancel out. And so what we'll have over here is we'll just have that d1 squared is equal to d2 squared plus sigma squared t minus t. And then plus 2, the log of s minus the log of k. And then plus and r minus delta, those are my dividend terms and my interest rate terms, minus 1 half sigma squared t minus t. And that's it. Now if we look over here, we have a sigma squared t minus t. And over here we have a 2 sigma squared t minus t with a negative one half. So those terms that are underlined will cancel out. And so what we have is we have that d1 squared is d2 squared plus 2 the log of s minus 2 
the log of k plus 2. And the r minus delta is hit with the t minus t as well. So we have a t minus t times r minus delta. And then we have a plus 2 r minus delta t minus t. And so this relationship over here will allow us to prove this fact. And so now what we see is we see that if we take the log of both sides, so if we look at the natural log of s e to the negative delta t minus t, and then phi of d1. Well, we know what phi of d1 is. Phi of d1 is exactly equal to, so note that phi of x is e to the negative x squared over 2 over the square root of 2 pi. And so that square root of 2 pi is common to both those terms. So this will be the natural log of s. And then I'm going to have a minus delta t minus t. And then I'm going to have a natural log. So we'll have a, the e and the natural log will cancel out. I'm just going to get a negative d1 squared over 2. And then I am going to, from the e term. And then I have this constant, so I have this square root of 2 pi in the denominator. So I'll have a negative natural log of the square root of 2 pi. Now at this point, we can use our formula. We know that I have a d1 squared and d2 squared over here. So those things are related by this formula. So we can see that this will be equal to, by our boxed equation. So the boxed equation tells me, so this is equal to by the boxed equation. This is equal to the natural log of k minus r t minus t minus d2 squared over 2 minus 2, the natural log of the square root of 2 pi. And together, these two things tell me that s e to the minus delta t minus t phi of d1 is equal to k e to the minus r t minus t phi of d2 by this relationship over here. And therefore, we get this expression. This expression will help us prove results for the Greek options of call option the Greeks for the call option and the put option. Thank you very much.